Today we'll check out how to reveal text from smoke, or at least how to make cinematic blurry text animation. Let's start with a new composition, I'm gonna go with 1080p, 5 seconds, black background, click OK. Right click here, new, select solid, this is gonna be the background, click OK. Select the type tool, type in something, scale it, align it to the center. By the way, I went with the Neue Haas Grotesque Display Pro, bold italic. From here, let's go to the text composition, close it and open it. Let's go to the animation and add blur. Now let's go to the add here. We're gonna go to the property, let's select opacity and let's do it again, add property, and add scale. And as you can see, all these are going to appear here, scale, opacity and blur. We're gonna go to the scale. I'm gonna add 87, decrease the opacity to zero. And let's go to the blur and I'm gonna add 63. From here, we're gonna go to range selector one, open it up. Let's go activate the offset. We're gonna decrease it to minus 100 and I'm gonna bring it to the fourth second and I'm gonna increase it to 100 back. Now let's go under the offset where you can see the advanced, open it up. Let's go to the square, change it to ramp up. I'm gonna decrease the amount to 58 and let's go to the ease high, increase it to 50, ease low 50. Let's activate the randomized order on and I'm gonna increase the random seat to six. So if you hit play, it is going to start like this. So it looks pretty good. Let's go here, click somewhere here, scroll up. Let's go to the animation and add the tracking. So basically this is going to increase the distance in between the letters and we're gonna animate it. So I'm gonna bring this back to the beginning and here we get the tracking amount. I can activate the stopwatch, increase it to four and I'm gonna bring it to the end and I'm gonna decrease it to zero. Actually, I'm gonna bring it to fourth second and it looks like this. Now I'm gonna scroll up, close up the text layer, and I'm gonna right click, new, select solid, type in noise, click OK. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in fractal noise. Drag and drop the fractal on the noise layer. Let's go to the fractal type, let's change it to swirly. Complexity is gonna be three. Let's go to the transform, open it up. Here we got the scale, open it up and increase it something like this. Let's animate the evolution, press and hold Alt, click on the stopwatch of the evolution, and let's go down to the expression, and we're gonna type in time asterisk 35, click somewhere here. Now we're gonna collapse the layer with the noise. Let's go to the mode, and let's change it to overlay. If you don't have these blend modes, you can click on the toggle switch, so it's gonna appear or disappear. Now let's go and create a new adjustment layer, a right click rename, blur. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in Gaussian blur, a double click, and I'm gonna bring this to the beginning. I'm gonna increase the blurriness to 40, activate a stopwatch, and I'm gonna bring it to the fourth second and decrease it to zero. Also, let's go to the blur layer, change the blend mode to lighten. So we're gonna add an extra blur in there. You can also press the letter U to bring down the blur even more if you want. I'm gonna collapse this, a right click again, new, let's add another adjustment layer and rename Colorama. And I'm gonna bring it to the second second, for example, so I can see what is going on. And let's go to the effects and presets, type in Colorama, a double click, and let's go to the output cycle, open it up, and I'm gonna double click on the red, I'm gonna make it black, click OK. And I'm gonna select this green and bring it all the way up next to the black that is going to overlap. So as you can see, the black area, if you bring it here, it is going to make the text black. And if you bring it close to the black color, it is going to make the text green. I'm gonna double click on it and I'm gonna make it as a light gray, click OK. I'm gonna go to this dark blue and drag it on the left to make it disappear. I'm gonna bring the yellow here and the pink in the opposite direction. So it's gonna look something like this. Okay, so as you can see, we got a little bit of problem going on, for example, here. And in order to correct this, I'm gonna bring the white here, I'm gonna select the black, press and hold shift, and it's going to snap the black exactly into the center. And I'm gonna select the white, press and hold shift, and it's gonna snap it perfectly again into the center. So these things are going to disappear. I'm also gonna go to the effects, add some grain, add grain, change the preset. I'm gonna go to 500T, intensity 1.2, size 0.7, softness 0.6 and let's go to the preview change it to final output so it's going to make it really nice and grungy and at least i also going to liquefy the text let's select the layer with the text let's go to effects and presets type in liquefy a double click and i'm going to bring this to the fourth second so i can see the text and let's activate the stopwatch of the distortion mesh 
Now I'm going to press the letter U to highlight the keyframes here. So as you can see, here is the keyframe that we created. And I'm going to bring it here. And let's go back to the tools. I'm going to select the third one, for example. And let's go to the twirl tool options. And here you can increase the brush size. I'm going to go somewhere around 500. And I'm going to start the distorting. And I'm going to select this new keyframe and bring it to the first second. And this is how the final result is going to look like. Thanks for watching.